The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we look forward to the Sunday readings. This coming Sunday, the 20th Sunday after Pentecost, falling on 10 15 23 this year, the readings are from the Old Testament, the prophet Isaiah, the 25th chapter, verses 6 through 9. Our epistle lesson is from Philippians, the 4th chapter, verses 4 through 13. And our gospel lesson is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, the 22nd chapter, verses 1 through 14. The theme that ties the readings together is clothed in the righteousness of Christ, we partake of his wedding feast. Again, clothed in the righteousness of Christ, we partake in his wedding feast. So let's hear the word of God together and pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. First reading, our Old Testament reading from the prophet Isaiah, again the 25th chapter, verses 6 through 9. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away every tear from all faces, and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our epistle lesson from Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses 4 through 13. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things, what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at length You have revived your concern for me. You were indeed concerned for me, but you had no opportunity. Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound in any and every circumstance. I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And lastly, our gospel reading from Matthew, the 22nd chapter, verses 1 through 14. And again, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son and sent his servants to call those who were invited into the wedding feast, but they would not come. And again, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully, and killed them. The king was angry, and he sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. And those servants went out to the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. And the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot, and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
clothed in the righteousness of Christ, we partake of his wedding feast. By cross and resurrection, the Lord has swallowed up death forever, and by his gospel, he will wipe away tears from all faces, and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. Therefore, let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. On the mountain of the Lord of hosts, in his church on earth, as in the kingdom of heaven, he has made for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine. It is the royal wedding feast of the Son of God, and everything is ready. Thus his servants are sent into the highways and the byways to invite and gather as many as they find, both good and bad, to fill the wedding hall with guests. In holy baptism, he clothes them all in the wedding garment of his own perfect righteousness. Therefore, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. The prayer of the day. Almighty God, you invite us to trust in you for our salvation. Deal with us not in the severity of your judgment, but by the greatness of your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray together as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.